Ever had that sudden throbbing pain in your teeth that seemed to strike out of nowhere? It's a sensation that can stop you in your tracks, isn't it? That's tooth pain for you. A common, yet often overlooked issue that can stem from various sources. It could be due to cavities, a cracked tooth, an exposed tooth root, or even gum disease. Just like how we have different reasons for tooth pain, we also have different ways to manage it. Over-the-counter pain relievers, for instance, are a popular choice for many. They provide quick relief and are easily accessible. In this corner we have ibuprofen, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, and in the other corner we have acetaminophen, a common analgesic. Both these medications are household names and you've probably used them at some point. But when it comes to battling tooth pain, which one reigns supreme? You've probably heard of ibuprofen and acetaminophen, but do you know which one works best for tooth pain? Let's find out. First, let's talk about ibuprofen, a popular choice for pain relief. Ibuprofen, part of a group of medications known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, works by reducing the body's production of inflammation-causing substances. This makes it a go-to option for tooth pain which is often caused by inflammation. Now let's delve into how effective it is. When it comes to tooth pain many find that ibuprofen can provide substantial relief. It acts directly at the site of pain, reducing inflammation and subsequently easing discomfort. However, it's important to remember that ibuprofen isn't without side effects. Some common ones include upset stomach, heartburn, and dizziness. To minimize these, it's generally advised to take ibuprofen with food or milk. As for usage, always follow the instructions on the label or those provided by your healthcare professional. Typically, adults can take 1 to 2 200 mg tablets every 4 to 6 hours. So, ibuprofen can be quite effective but it's not without its side effects. Now what about acetaminophen? Now let's shift our focus to acetaminophen, another common pain reliever. Acetaminophen, also known as paracetamol, is a household name when it comes to pain relief. But how does it work? Quite simply, it tricks your brain. Acetaminophen sends signals to your brain to ignore the pain, making you feel better even though the underlying cause of the pain might still be there. When it comes to tooth pain, acetaminophen can be a real game changer. It's effective in providing temporary relief, helping you get through the day without being constantly reminded of your toothache. However, like all medications, it does have side effects. These can include nausea, stomach pain, and in rare cases, liver damage. In terms of usage, you usually take acetaminophen every 4-6 to six hours, and it's important not to exceed the recommended daily dosage. And remember it's always a good idea to consult with your dentist or doctor before starting any new medication. Acetaminophen, like ibuprofen, has its pros and cons when it comes to tooth pain relief. Now that we've looked at both ibuprofen and acetaminophen, let's see how they stack up against each other. When it comes to effectiveness, both are strong contenders in battling tooth pain. Ibuprofen, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, is particularly effective at reducing inflammation and pain, while acetaminophen, also known as paracetamol, excels at relieving pain and reducing fever. However, each has its own set of potential side effects. For instance, ibuprofen may cause stomach upset, while acetaminophen can potentially lead to liver damage if used excessively. As for usage, both medications can be taken orally, but it's vital to follow the recommended dosage. Overuse of either can lead to serious health complications. It's also important to note that certain medical conditions may affect which medication is most suitable for you. For example, people with liver disease should avoid acetaminophen, and those with stomach ulcers should steer clear of ibuprofen. In the end, the best choice between ibuprofen and acetaminophen will depend on your specific situation. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new medication.